Hi, this is Sahana. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn one of the important topics that is compilation. In our last video, we have seen how to create simple C-Sharp application and we have seen how to run the code. For our developer, understanding what happens behind the scene when we execute a program is as important as writing a good program. Let us first understand what is compilation. The process of converting high level language into a machine language is called as compilation and the piece of program which does this job is called as compiler. Compiler bridges the gap between the high level language and the low level language. So it is very important component of high level programming. Now the valid question would be why do we need compilation? We all know that c -sharp is a high level language. This language is easy for us to understand as it resembles commonly used English language. However, a computer cannot understand this language. It can only understand machine language in which the instructions and data are all binary numbers. Binary numbers are nothing but the numbers that are made of zeros and ones. That is the reason all the high level languages use compilers for the purpose of compilation and each high level language has got its own compiler. The c -sharp program gets compiled in two steps. Let's see what are they. In the first step, c -sharp compiler compiles the source code into something called as intermediate language code. The IL code and the resources needed by the program are stored in an assembly typically with an extension of .dll. At the second step, when the program is executed, the assembly is loaded into the CLR which is called as Common Language Runtime which is the .NET Framework's virtual execution system. And CLR performs just-in-time compilation to convert the intermediate language code to native machine instructions. Thus, the c -sharp program gets compiled in two steps. First step is source code to intermediate language code. Then the second step, intermediate language code to machine code. Now you could be thinking, why the compiler is not directly converting the source code into native machine code? Why this two-step compilation? The reason is, .NET supports several other languages along with c -sharp, like f -sharp, vb.net, etc. To make all these languages interoperable, c -sharp performs two-step compilation. Interoperability in the sense, one language can talk to other language. Technically, the code can be shared between two applications that are targeting the .NET framework. I will show you how to compile the program and how to see the IL code that is intermediate language code generated by compiling the program. Open the Visual Studio and create simple console application. If you don't know what is console application and how to create the console application, I have already made a video on this and I'll keep the link in the description box. Later you can go and have a look. I will modify this program and I will add one more line of code. And I'll save the changes. At the bottom of the screen you can see items saved. There are several ways to compile the program. We have modified the program and we have saved the code. What I will do, right click on the project and I will say build. See, at the end of the screen, you can see build succeeded. We get build succeeded message when we don't have any compile errors. Compiler errors are nothing but the common mistakes like syntax errors and all those things. What I will do, I will remove, I will delete the semicolon. This is the syntax error because in c -sharp, every statement has to end with semicolon. I will save it and I will try to build the application. See, build failed and I got the error message. I will correct it, save it and build it again. Build succeeded. Now I will show you where the compiled code gets stored. I will right click on the project and I will say open folder in file explorer. Here we have bin folder and debug folder. This is the .NET version. See here so many files are generated. These files get generated only after the compilation is successful. And the compilation 
demo.dll usually this file will have the intermediate language code Just to verify these files are generated only after the compilation I will select all the files and I will delete them ok I will come back to the visual studio and I will rebuild it rebuild all succeeded I will go back to the folder see again the files are generated now I will show you how to see the intermediate language code visual studio is shipped with the disassembler tool that is ILDSM for that you have to open the visual studio command prompt and you have to type the ILDASM tool I will show you that go to the start menu and locate the visual studio folder inside that you can see developer command prompt for whatever the version of visual studio you have in your system there what I will do I will I will type the command ILDASM this will open the GUI and here I can see the intermediate language code generated by the program go to the file menu then open same path bin debug folder and open the compilation demo.dll this is the name that I have given to the project so that is generated with the same name I have opened the file see this is the structure this is the structure of the application if I expand compilation demo it will show me what all the methods classes and other members in the program to see the intermediate language code double click on one of them here this is the main method and I will double click it see this is the intermediate language code generated by the C sharp compiler we don't understand it but still this is for the knowledge how exactly the compilation works and how the intermediate language code looks like this is one of the ways to see the intermediate language code there are many other ways and if you want to know more about the disassembler I'll keep the link in the description box uh, for Microsoft document you can refer it it's a nice document and uh, there are uh, it's not the only way to compile your program if you run the program the first compilation occurs then the program will run so every time you need not uh, right click on the project and build the program for the compilation if, even if you run the program it will first compile make sure uh, there are no syntax or any compilation errors then the program if the build is succeeded then the program will run successfully see uh, this is the output we got from running the program and uh, one more way to build uh, one more way to compile the program is you can go to the build menu okay you can build the solution when there are many projects inside the solution and you want to build all the projects then you can build the solution it will build all the projects inside the solution rebuild the, uh, you, even you can choose rebuild the solution this is one more way to compile the program Sent three session by summarizing first we started with understanding what is compilation then we understood what is the need for compilation and we learned one more important step that is two-step compilation then we practically saw how to compile the program and even we understood how to see the intermediate language code thanks for your time do subscribe to my channel for more such videos thanks again